Let's talk a little bit about the life of the author Ihara Saikaku. He's a very interesting character and uh, a very interesting range of skills too. Not only in prose writing but also in poetry with the haikai, the linked verses. So a little bit about the author of Life of a Sensuous Woman, Ihara Saikaku. Here you have a monument uh, to him. Uh, his, his book, Life of a Sensuous Woman, was really a new floating world book. And they call this genre Yukio Zoshi, uh, as opposed to Yukio E, which are the illustrations. And this uh, story depicted the pleasure quarters, and it was a national bestseller, kind of an old school Fifty Shades of Grey, if you want to think of it that way. And uh, Saikaku, though, was the author of uh, several works, uh, a little bit earlier, The Life of an Amorous uh, Woman is this tale. That's another uh, title for it. Uh, his first uh, book was Life of a Sensuous Man. Uh, he has other works, too, The Great Mirror of Male Love and Five Women Who Loved Love. Uh, so as we can see, he, he liked to write about love, that's for sure. Ihara Saikaku was born into a wealthy merchant family, and this also reflects the growing power of the merchant class in the Edo period, uh, and that's also helping to finance the uh, Yashiwara Pleasure District. He composed haikai, which are linked verses. Kind of a, a fun game. Uh, it's kind of like what you have with rap battles today. You kind of think of him as an old-school Eminem. Uh, in his early 20s, he was a haikai master. In fact, he was called the master of the 20,000 verses. Now, this is an opposition in some ways to the style of Basho, who really elevates the form. This was more of a playful, kind of fun thing uh, here with uh, Saikaku, but Basho really makes it more literary, and we'll be looking at his uh, haiku later. Basho is also more of a, a wandering traveler, a little bit of an out social outcast. Saikaku is really enmeshed in the social structure of his time. Uh, he was also very fast and prolific. Uh, he, in 1677 to 88, for example, Saikaku published 12 books, so kind of an old school Stephen King in that regard. His style tends to be more playful and irreverent. He used everyday language, humor, and common life situations with those kinds of specific details, including the money, for example, which we see in Life of a Sensuous Woman. And very proto-realistic uh, with some of his psychological insights. And again, he established the genre of Yukio Zoshi with Life of a Sensuous Man in 1682. And one little cool shout out that uh, Ihara Saikaku uses in Life of a Sensuous Woman is a reference to a Yukio E artist of the time, Hishikawa Morinobu. And you have that quote on page 599. Whenever they look at one of Morinobu's suggestive prints, they'll feel a rush and go dizzy with desire. Without even imagining they're really making love, they'll twist and push their own heels or middle fingers way around and move <clears throat> their implements.